The Calphalon Classic Round Waffle Maker gives you precise control over the entire waffle making process. This dial allows you to adjust for your preferred level of doodness from light to dark. It also allows you to compensate for the sugar level in your recipe. The higher the sugar level, the quicker and darker your waffle will become. I'm using the Williams Sonoma Belgium Waffle Mix, which has a pretty high sugar content, so I'm going to adjust for a light to medium level. But if I were making a savory waffle, like a cornbread mix, which has very little sugar, I'd probably go to a higher setting. I'm going to start by plugging in the waffle maker, and you'll notice the power light instantly goes on. When the waffle maker is ready for me to pour my batter in, we'll notice that the green ready light is illuminated. Now that the ready light is on, I can add my batter. And you'll notice that this waffle maker is tilted slightly downward. That is so the batter will fill all the crevices of the waffle maker. So a little tip is to add the batter sort of toward the back middle. And you'll know that you have enough batter when all of the edges are filled in. So maybe another little scoop and we should be good. Close the lid. Right now you'll notice the ready light is off, but when the waffle is ready, it'll turn back on. This is our no peak indicator, so there's no need to lift the lid and check on the waffle. You'll also notice that there's already steam rising, and this is part of the special Calphalon design to let the steam escape to ensure a crispy waffle. The ready light just came on, so let's take a look at our waffle. This handle is coated in silicone, so it will always stay cool. And look at how gorgeous that is. You'll remember that I didn't put down any butter or oil. That's because this has the Calphalon High Performance Bronze Non-Stick Finish, so no oils or butter are necessary. Just want to finish up my waffle. A little whipped cream and some syrup. Cleanup is so simple. Just unplug the waffle maker, let it cool, and then wipe it down with a damp cloth, and it's ready for next time.